Hey, Rick Mori here with Mori's Flooring. And today's video is about perceived value on engineered hardwood floors. So we have a few samples here. So when it comes to the perceived value of an engineered floor, most people think that if you're getting a thicker veneer, that's always a better product. And that's sometimes that's true, but that's not always accurate. So here we have a four millimeter veneer, a three millimeter veneer, a two millimeter veneer, and a one and a half millimeter veneer product here. So on an engineered product, you basically have the, the ply core underneath, and then the veneer is the actual species of wood that you're, you're going for. In this case, it's a white oak, and it has a heavy, heavy um, wire brushing and scraping to this product. So what are some advantages and disadvantages of a thicker veneer versus a thinner veneer? So on a thicker veneer, the advantages are you get the upper end, higher end looks with those. Uh, you can get a deeper scraping, you can get deeper bevels. Um, you can actually sand those down as long as it's two and a half millimeters thick. So either of these two products here, we could actually sand those down, change the color. Uh, you. When you sand it down, you change the texture because it becomes smooth now and not scraped, uh, and then you can put another finish on it. So that's that's the advantages, just like a a, a deeper, more um, um, dimensional look because of the scraping and, and the chatter marks and the saw marks that you can get on a thicker veneer. So some advantages on a thinner veneer is actually uh, there's less wood there so there's basically less that can go wrong on on these thinner products a lot of manufacturers love producing like a two millimeter veneered product because they consider it to be their most worry-free stable product um, on the engineered uh, platform now that being said we we sell and install a ton of three four five millimeter products and on, because it's engineered rarely ever and especially with our climate you know the humidity range staying pretty pretty steady year-round we rarely ever have problems with an engineered product but some advantages of the thinner veneer is on a thinner veneer the actual finish can soak all the way through and basically harden that and top that entire top veneer um, and basically make it a harder veneer from inside out on a thicker veneer it usually only soaks down just just past the top um, on a thinner veneer it breathes better um, because it doesn't have as, as much um, wood there and on a, on a thinner veneer you have less movement and less uh, cracking that can have on the veneer itself so um, there's advantages of the thinner, there's advantages on the thicker. Um, they're both, if you get a, a product that has a great finish, um, that has been milled, uh, milled correctly, they both can be really, really good floors. So there are some advantages of both, disadvantages of both, but this, these are engineered, the engineered hardwoods. Perceived value isn't always that the thicker is better. You can still get a really good product on a, on a one and a half, two millimeter. Uh, thick veneer product. I, actually, our best selling product is a two millimeter uh, thick product in the infilled hickory. So that's the perceived value on engineered hardwood.